Hello, here is a gross specimen of a spleen and we're looking at the cut surface. And let me just turn this around. We can see that there is a very obvious abnormal area which is very sharply demarcated. This is the hyla region. So there is a wedge-shaped area of pale tan discoloration with the broad base of the wedge at the capsular surface. This is an example of a splenic infarct. Sometimes you may also see some fibrin exudates on the surface, but in this instance, it is not well appreciated. So splenic infarcts can be caused by thromboembolic phenomena that affect and occlude the end arteries that supply the splenic parenchyma. These uh, thrombi or these emboli could actually originate from the heart. For example, if there is a left atrial or ventricular thrombus, say as a result of atrial fibrillation or post-myocardial infarction, uh, or even in infective endocarditis where there is a thrombus admixed with bacterial organisms, these can give rise to emboli in the spleen. In the instance of uh, infective endocarditis, you can actually get septic emboli and uh, foci of separative inflammation in the spleen. So microscopically, we would see coagulative necrosis, and this is very similar to infarctions in the kidney and also in myocardial infarctions, where there would be increased eosinophilia of the cytoplasm and loss of nuclei. So in summary, this is an example of a splenic infarct showing a wedge-shaped area of pelo with the base of the wedge abutting the splenic capsule. And one of the common causes is thromboemboli.